So Ahmed has a really inspiring journey over the last 25 years. Uh, he's the founder of Numi or Organic Tea. Uh, he's also been an incredible local leader as the founder of One Step Closer, a community of sustainable natural product CEOs and leaders. Uh, with both Numi and One Step Closer, he's done more than almost any of us helping change and improve our food and planet. Uh, a West Sonoma County local, please welcome Ahmed. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mike. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for having me next day and Marin, Sonoma, um, Impact Ventures. Um, yeah, it is a delight to be here in uh, West Sonoma County. I live uh, west of Occidental and really love the, just love everything about it. I think it's the best place on the planet. And I have traveled the planet many times. Um, but my name is Ahmed Rahim. I was born in uh, Baghdad, Iraq, and immigrated to the United States when I was a little boy. Um, I grew up thinking I wanted to be an artist. I got into photography, into <laughs> film, into theater, and um, I studied in New York City. And then I left for Europe for about 10, 12 years. And what I realized um, is I, I really just wanted to belong. And I think belonging is something, especially in this Western culture, is a, a thing that we, we miss a lot. And I um, wanted to feel at home. I wanted to create community and, and build something special. Um, th that's what I realized that I wanted. And, and creating something special with purpose. And once you can find that purpose, then you can create belonging. And then belonging creates purpose. And then you live in this beautiful cycle of really being in your element and being with community and, and feeling belonging. And after being an artist for 15 years in Europe, I, I decided to come back to the United States and, and, and move to the Bay Area. I moved to Oakland and started, um, started New Me. Um, and many of you know, starting a business is not easy. It takes determination, and as Zach mentioned, it takes a lot of perseverance, vision, and probably most importantly, belief in oneself. Really being able to look at yourself every day and, and realize this is what I want to do, and back to that purpose really helps you uh, wake up every day. And as you all know, the result can be one of the most difficult decisions you make, and it could be one of the most beautiful, um, like having a child or getting married. Um, once one commits, the hard work begins. And when my sister and I started Numi 23 years ago in Oakland, um, it was all inspired by a dry desert lime that we drank as little kids in, in Iraq. And that dry desert lime is called Numi. And, and it's our drink of hospitality. Like you have green tea in China, you have Coca-Cola here in the US. Um, you know, <laughs> it was our way to welcome people to our home and we still do it today. Um, and, uh, you know, creating the vision uh, and values around the business are so important. And, you know, we're really pioneers and in innovative organic. We're leaders in the wellness and human rights and sustainability. We create conscious change. Um, and, you know, we've been around now for 23 years and we're really now just beginning to activate purpose. And that's been, um, that's been quite the journey for us. And, um, and you know, when you work in the, in the beverage industry, you're really competing with, you know, the Unilevers and the Cokes and, and all the big boys and girls. And, you know, for a small little or organic brand like ours, it's, uh, it's, it's you know, you got to charge every day. And, you know, after 23 years, we've become one of the largest organic fair trade tea brands here in North America. And, and we always strive for higher purpose every day. And, you know, thank you. And, you know, creating your mission and vision, you know, aren't, aren't easy things because they're ever evolving. You're, you're always changing as a human. Your environment's changing. I mean, look what just happened in COVID. Hopefully people really shifted their patterns and created new patterns to adapt to today's times. And, um, you know, we, every little certification uh, we, 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 we strive for. We were one of the first 30 B Corps in the world. When B Corps started, they wanted their flagships. And um, we were fortunate to be one of them. And, you know, fair trade, fair labor, you name it. Um, we really try and cover all the, all the, all the, uh, all the, uh, you know, crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's. And a big part of our business, besides being organic and sustainable, is really our, our farming supply chain. We work with over 15,000 organic farmers and their families all over the world in 35 countries and some of the poorest countries in the world. I've, I've had the honor and the privilege to go to some of the poorest countries like Madagascar, which is the ninth poorest, where we source our turmeric and, and you know, India and China, 
Um, and we work with, uh, you know, um, we, we know over 85% of our supply chain. A lot of manufacturers, you know, just are buying widgets or nuts and bolts and, and, um, and or buying through brokers, but we actually go to all of our farmers and, and we, we ask them, what do you need? And I remember like 22 years ago when I'd asked them that, they, they, they kind of looked at me with, you're asking me what I need? Usually most people are asking us to really reduce our pricing <laughs> and beating us up. And so that moment really connection between um, a, a Western company like Numi and the farmers um, created a whole, ri whole ripple of belonging and purpose between us and the farmers. And um, we've given over a million and a half dollars to our farmers from schools and, and, and um, hospitals and education. And from that, we, 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 we birthed the NUMI Foundation about 14, 15 years ago. And the NUMI Foundation, you know, we really focus on three different things. Uh, we, we, my sister and I created um, three curriculums, one around art, um, around nature and gardening, and around social studies. And um, now we have that over, over 100 schools in the Bay Area, um, serving over 20,000 inner city um, children, K through five, some of the poorest communities in the, in, the, in the Bay Area, and really helping them learn about who they are as, a, as an individual, their whole self, from their creative expression to how to really put their hands in the earth and dig and garden and know what their food comes from. When I, when I taught some of the classes, I'd ask them, where does your food come from? Trucks shelves, stores, but really understanding the seed um, and, and where, the, where the food grows and, and setting up gardens in the schools. And, um, and now we just launched in 15 um, Sonoma County schools. Um, so now we're serving some of the kids here in, in, in North Bay, which we're really proud of. We also have a project called Together for Hope, which has brought clean water to about 12,000 farmers mm -hmm. and their families. Um, and that's in China and, and Egypt and Madagascar and South Africa. And these are people that were drinking river water and just you know, going every day and getting the barrels and, and, and boiling it, but still getting sick. And the results we found that 85% you know, of, uh, of the population no longer was you know, having all kinds of diseases and missing work, and the children were able to go to school. So it's been uh, quite, quite an inspiring journey to see communities really change to happiness and them feeling like they belong to each other because now they just have clean water. So simple things like that, that, you know, in our culture, it's just turning a faucet and you have it. Um, and then we, 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 we focus back on our home country of Iraq. And, you know, there's five million orphans there um, from all the wars. So we've been able to really work at some of the at-risk youth with education programs. And, um, and that's been really an honor to, uh, to go back to our, our homeland. And even during the COVID program, we raised millions of dollars and we all that produce and food that was getting thrown away because all the restaurants and stuff were closing. You know, we were able to gather all that from the BIPOC farmers and, uh, and redistribute it and deliver door to door some of the poorest families in the Bay Area um, every week, uh, boxes of organic produce. And, um, and then we jumped on the Ukraine as well. And we, um, we worked with some local, local families, uh, local organizations there for clean water programs since all the water systems were getting destroyed as well as solar systems to just charge your phones and batteries, I mean phones and computers. Um, so, you know, the NUMI Foundation has really, really exploded and, uh, and the last thing I want to cover is, you know, beyond our own business, we can do a lot in the world and it's our responsibility because I believe every manufacturer is responsible for their waste and everything we produce, we need to know it's, it's a full cycle and it's cradle to cradle. Um, but I started a group about 14 years ago called OSC, and uh, it's, it, it's, it, at the time it was one step closer to an organic sustainable community. It was something I dreamed up about 20 years ago when I, when I got into the industry and I was like, wow, all these people, and they're not working together. And who cares if we're competitive to each other, if we're selling the same product, how do we really support one another? So I brought together some of my closest friends that were running companies here in Sonoma, like Guayaki and Sambazan down in Southern California and Dr. Bronner's and Nutiva, his, who's here in the North Bay. And I said, hey guys and gals, but then it was just guys. But uh, I was like, how do we really collaborate and use our resources wisely? How do we really stick together and, and help each other? So we, we formed this and, and my former VP of marketing, Laura Dickinson, her and I um, really launched it. And, 
and now it's, it's become the center of the whole natural food industry. Um, you know, we, not only do we have the core CEOs that meet monthly, we started a whole group called Rising Stars, which are brands sub 10 million that we help them and we mentor them and, 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 and support them. We launched something called Climate Collaborative around eight years ago. Now over 900 companies have joined, including Unilever and Danone and Whole Foods and some of the biggest organizations on the planet. And they have 15 area, nine areas sorry, that they can commit to, from transportation to energy to packaging to food waste. So we really get people to focus on how they can actually drive solutions to the climate. And you know, we need that more than ever, as, as hopefully we all know. And we also launched something called the Packaging Collaborative, which is, you know, how do we, how do we reduce all the plastic? You know, we're putting so much plastic in our bodies from the fish we eat to the water bottles. I mean, some of it is just mind boggling what we're doing and, um, and, and how there aren't real big solutions yet. And um, so, but we have great companies in the packaging, even Pepsi and Amazon have joined that. And they're seeing that they want to be a part of the solution. And just recently, about three years ago, uh, we launched JEDI around justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. You know, when I first walked into the natural food industry, and please don't take this wrong, I was like, wow, I, I don't see anybody of color. Um, I was one of the few brown people in the room, and it was really surprising that an industry that's focused on putting good food in our bodies, helping nurture the soil, is, is still predominantly, um, you know, a Caucasian. So it's, it's been amazing to, 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 to watch the, the industry get around JEDI and how do we really, as employers, as, uh, as entrepreneurs, as businesses, as investors, as boards, as nonprofits, how do we really surround ourselves with people and diversity and inclusion, as Zach beautifully mentioned, what North Bay is about. So this journey keeps going and we're now at OSC launching our own venture fund. We're raising our first 30 million now to invest in these smaller companies, some BIPOC uh, uh, um, you know, uh, founders. And what's great about it is it's a full circle. We invest in them, we nurture them, we mentor them because we have the great CEOs. Then they get into our rising star group, then they get into the core group, and then we can help them if they want eventually to exit. So it's a full circle that we're creating at OSC and really excited about that. And, um, and, and, and as I mentioned earlier in my closing thoughts, I just wanted to share, you know, starting a business can be the most rewarding and the most challenging. Um, little sh story about COVID, you know, when COVID hit these last three years, we lost over 10 million of business. NUMI's the exclusive tea and Google's and Facebook's and Cheesecake Factory and United Airlines and Uber and every tech office, all that business went away. Um, supply chain just completely got erupted, as we all know. Containers that cost 2000 ended up costing $30,000. Um, the cost of goods just shot out the roof. So we had to really buckle down. And uh, as Zach said, you know, there's ups and downs in the business, although we were just skyrocketing. It's been a journey. We had to cut millions and millions of expenses. And we had to raise almost $10 million last year just to get us back on track. Um, luckily, things are back in a very healthy place. But you know, no matter how hard we work, it's always important to, to keep focus, driving your vision and purpose, and, and really keeping that mission, always evolving it. And, um, and these, these tough decisions can lead one's, oneself and your team and the, and the outcome to excellence. Um, and you know, for me, you know, it was all about building my dreams and, and being, doing what you're passionate about. Um, and how, at the same time, can you change the world? Because everything around you in the world is what, what we create. That, that perception is so important. Um, so my only recommendation to those that are young entrepreneurs here is, is be your highest self, really create your purpose, and, and create that symbiosis and belonging. Um, you know, both my sister and I, you know, we moved to Sonoma County 10 years ago. Hard to leave Oakland, but it's been a beautiful place. and. Um, my dream is to just live on a farm and do everything within 10 miles from home and really work locally, support locally, and, um, and as Zach said, just keep giving back to your local community. So thank you so much for having me today.